Hi, I'm Ira Harkavy, and I direct the Netter Center for Community Partnerships at the University of Pennsylvania. The Netter Center is Penn's primary vehicle for engaging the range of university resources to simultaneously improve the quality of life in West Philadelphia and Philadelphia and improve the quality of research, teaching, service, and learning at the University of Pennsylvania. It's designed to help create models also of how universities can engage, to be models nationally and globally as well as locally for how universities in general can make a great difference in the quality of life as well as advancing their core missions of education, research, teaching, service, and learning. Uh, well, the question of why education matters is, is, couldn't be a more important issue. Among other things, clearly education is crucial for individual success. The ability to have a successful life in all forms, both as, as someone who contributes to society, has a decent quality of life, develops fully as a, a human being, has, has in fact the resources sure he needs to, to live decently, all relate to education. But more fundamentally, education is key and schooling is key to a democratic society. The founder of this great university, Benjamin Franklin, emphasized that nothing was more important to a society, to what he called the common wheel, than citizens educated for virtue. So, individuals were educated to make a difference. And he understood that you could have, as he said, arm, armies and wealth, but run by people who were not educated, who didn't have the values of, of citizenship, of helping to create a good society, no matter what their education, it wouldn't, no matter what their background, it wouldn't have mattered unless they had an education. And the kind of education Franklin called for, frankly, was one of developing in young people. When he founded Penn, he said this, an inclination joined with an ability to serve, an education for citizenship, an education to contribute to the world. Education is crucial because, in fact, it determines the kind of society you'll have. In my judgment, unless one has a democratic educational system, a democratic schooling system, one can't have a democratic society. It is crucial to educate students so that they'll be functioning members of a society, and they learn that in the schools they're part of, not just from their families, but actually in their learning in classrooms, learning with faculty members, learning with and from teachers. And why also education is crucial is it is central in terms of developing a system in which all people could participate from different socioeconomic backgrounds, cultural, racial, ethnic, religious backgrounds. It's a way of building unity among people and having people learn from diversity and from each other. And if we're going to create that kind of schooling system, it's crucial that higher education be right up front and play a crucial role. William Rainey Harper, the president of the University of Chicago, emphasized when he founded Chicago that education was key to a democratic society. But he went further, and he said that universities, higher education, in spite of itself, shapes the schooling system. And we shape the schooling system because we educate the teachers, we educate the professionals, we educate the leaders, and most centrally, as Harper emphasized, it's because we educate the educators. The teachers affect everybody, and nothing is more crucial to a good society than a good education, and nothing is as central to a good democratic society as good democratic education for all citizens, from all different backgrounds, from all parts of the country, across the United States and around the world, to learn and develop fully and contribute to good society and a good world. Thank you.